What is going on guys? Grave here today. We got an update for the console versions of the Elder Scrolls Online. I will list the PlayStation and the Xbox uh, versions of the patch notes down in the description below if you would like to read over them for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. They had a small fix for the Dead, uh, dead Cell Reef trial. Also some general fixes. The Shrine of Stendar now has properly uh, messaging for those who use it. The Flying Horseman uh, at the bay has located and been grounded. Also, they fixed an issue where books were spawning below the fixtures or terrain they were supposed to be resting on. They fixed several issues related to quest rewards, including uh, unusable items, incorrect enchantments, and item sets. Also, all flags uh, quests, the final synergy used to defeat the final boss, will now grant the correct, uh, the correct thing to all fighting participants. Also, the Tournament of Heart uh, of the Heart uh, quest also now appears at the end of this quest so she can actually say her lines correctly. Um, also, they fixed an issue that prevented the Tribute Daily quest from granting Tribute rank experience. They also fixed an issue that could cause uh, you to remain in course targeting mode when exiting the Tribute match. Also, for gameplay, the Reinforcements card now can be upgraded to Legion's Arrival by acquiring certain clues. Also, they fixed a UI problem that caused several tales of tribute pop-ups to show up repeatedly. When it comes to some general fixes for companions, they fixed an issue where Ember would be hidden behind menu panels during the outfit dying. Also, for the champion system, they refunded any champion points spent in skills that received cost changes with the High Isles update to fix an issue where you were unable to spend or adjust points in those skills. The affected skills are listed below. It said, but please note that all uh, champion nodes have also, that all subsequent champion nodes have also been refunded. So, Biting Aurora, Deadly Aim, Duelist Rebuff, Enduring Resolve, Fighting Finesse, Ironclad, Mastered Arms. Uh, overload, thermitage, and unusable has uh, all been refunded to fix that issue. Now, when it comes to housing, they fixed an issue that caused training dummies to report inflated DPS values. I did make a video about that a while back saying that everyone's DPS was showing about 10% higher than it was supposed to. That should now be fixed. Also, they fixed an issue that could crash, that could cause crashes when a character is removed from the world. Uh, they also fixed a crash that could occur when using the enchanting station. And last but not least, in Craglorn, the Warrior's Call will now continue to follow your character normally while inside the ruined library. So there's just a lot of bug fixes and some small changes, but probably the biggest change or the biggest thing with this update was refunding those champion points uh, for that you know High Isles update where some things were not working as intended. So if you see you, that you have more champion points than you should, you may have to go back in and put some champion points back in the place they're supposed to be considering it seemed to be a pretty big issue considering all the champion points that they did list. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.